everybody and welcome back to another Drawing with Hannah video. Who's Hannah? I'm Hannah. Hi, nice to meet you. So today I wanted to dive into the topic of hands. It's kind of scary. <laughs> um, if, uh, if you're an artist, you might know what I mean. But uh, yeah, so I want to go into hands. I kind of want to break down hands and I also want to do, I want to approach this video more like a let's learn together kind of video because I am not a master. I am not an expert. I'm no in any shape, way or form a professional at drawing hands. So <laughs> let's learn together. Go ahead and grab your sketchbook, pencil, pen, tablet, whatever you like to use to draw and let's do it. So I have some nice handy dandy Pinterest references here. Um, I will hopefully link them down in the description so you can see them because you can't see them on my screen, obviously. So <laughs> yeah, I have those because um, I do know how to draw hands. I have drawn hands before, but I could be very much better. <laughs> I could be way better at drawing hands. So hopefully that, I have those there for inspiration and for a fallback to see like, okay, so I'm not understanding this part. What can I use here to understand? And that's, that's what references are for, right? But okay, let's get into it. I'm gonna start drawing and stop jabbling. Uh, <laughs> so what I usually do when I draw hands is I, I try to break them down like I break down the body right like in my one of my previous videos but um so what i start with is a nice little little square doesn't have to be like perfect square honestly it's more of like a trapezoid rectangle thing and then um i can draw my little okay i'm gonna draw my little thumb here so there's a thumb little roundy guy. I like to draw the part that kind of cuts into the hand, cuts into your palm, right? Even though we don't always have like this big pudgy thing right here, we have, we have a nice little thing right there. If you're seeing me in the bottom of the screen, you don't have to be looking at me, but that's what I was, I was showing you with my, okay. <laughs> and then I go in and the fingers, so there's our pointer finger and you, you got to think of them as like noodles, or like french fries. One of my favorite artists, her name is Drawing With Waffles. She's an amazing artist. If you wanna go check out her channel, do it. She doesn't even know I exist, so yeah. But she's awesome. She likes to call them french fry fingers, french fry hands. And sometimes you just gotta think of hands like that to really break things down so then you can go in and you can go in and sculpt and shape your hand. Um, but so I draw my pointer finger and then a lot of the time I like to draw a big clump. I have a, this big clump in the middle for the ring and middle finger. And then I just draw a line down the middle. And then there's my pinky. That's basically it. I like to do that and then I'll go in and like, here I'll do this on a different layer, but I'll go in and try and shape this the hand more to how i want it to look so less like cartoony and stuff like that so i'll go in here and i'll actually make the ring finger its own finger and then i'll make the middle finger its own finger but they're still very close together and then i'll go in draw the palm more all that stuff i'll Oh, I forgot I did that on a different layer. Maybe not a good idea. Come here, erase those lines, and then maybe erase that a little bit. Oh, wait, don't switch back. <laughs> there we go. And yeah, and then there's a hand. So I made that look very simple. Uh, that was kind of surprising, but that's just a hand like going for a high five, right? Like we're we're not drawing anything other special anything else that's like special about the hand so let's try some different positions shall we we're gonna go back to our simple doodle hand and actually make that disappear and i'll bring it back okay um yeah so i'm going to actually move my guy a little bit 
Make him a little bit smaller. I'm gonna just move him to the side here. Cause I drew him way too big. Okay. So let's see, what else can we draw hands in? Let's like, let's try a fist. So we're gonna come back to our little square, our square guy, but I'm gonna, I'm gonna angle him down. Hmm. No, we're gonna, we're gonna keep him up. We have our, we have our square, we have our palm, our trapezoid rectangle square thing, whatever it is. And then, oh, I'm gonna draw, what, what did I just draw? The right hand, we'll draw the left hand now. <laughs> I'm going to put my thumb on this side, except for actually, if we're drawing a fist, a fist curls up and you have your thumb in front of all your fingers, right? So we're going to, we're going to get our fingers drawn here, about four of them, they all like to poke out, and then we have our little thumb. That Okay, I struggle with fists, guys. So one thing that's actually really great if you don't have like access to references on the internet or from books or something like that is to use yourself. Look at your own hand or look at other people's hands like all the time. <laughs> when I'm drawing, if I'm, if I'm using a person where I'm like, I really wanna draw that pose that they're in, I'll just stare at them and then I'll be like, hey, hey, wait, let me, let me like move you this way. If, they, if they're not like moving, I'll be like, hey, like turn your head like this. <laughs> it's honestly like, if you just ask someone and say, hey, can you like pose your hand like this? They'll probably be like, uh, sure, okay, and they'll do it, and then you can just doodle it really fast. So, looking at my fist, hopefully you can see it. Maybe I can angle it towards the camera, but you see how my thumb is going in front of my fingers. So we have our fingers, and I guess I shouldn't have drawn the palm as long. Uh, well, no, no, it doesn't matter. We're just getting this done. So we have a little block for our fingers. Let's like break it down even more. And so your thumb kind of comes in. It doesn't jut out as much, obviously. And then we'll curve in maybe like that. Now, see that, that just, that doesn't feel right. So let's see, I'm gonna get one of my handy dandy references. And I'll look at that. So we have, we have our, our palm and then have the thumb let me draw like a little block here for the middle joint part of the bone and then they you do that man a fist is hard guys i see this is this is why we're doing this video because i don't know what i'm doing okay we're gonna try this again Remember, erasing is okay. If you feel like you want to fix something, erasing is okay. I probably could have just pressed Ctrl Z on my computer, but we're doing this the old-fashioned way. <laughs> so I have my little circle here. Boom. Here's the thing. And then there is the thumb. The end of the little finger. And then, let's see. So we would have our pointer finger right here. Middle finger right here. And then I guess your your fingers do kind of curl down. Oh. Hmm. My fists are so tiny, guys. <laughs> your fingers do kind of curl down in order, so you start seeing like the tops of your ring finger and your pinky more. Like there's the fronts. That. I'm gonna turn down my smoothing so my pen actually keeps up. Okay, okay, so let's let's try this again with with the fist. So we have your your thumb doesn't like curl down as much as I think it does, and it faces like forward more. Also, one thing when you're learning from references, one thing I think is helpful, at least for me, is when I keep my lines really loose, I keep them messy, and then I can go in once again and refine them. Um, because art is essentially sculpting, uh, but on a flat surface. 
So 2D sculpting, if that makes sense. That's that's how I like to describe it a lot of the time. But so it's okay to if it's messy, it's okay if it doesn't look good. Once again, maybe the, the simpler your hands look, the simpler the hands are, the better they look. But all right, so there's our pointer finger. Here is our middle finger. So our our knuckles kind of come down in this like diagonal. There's our ring and there's our pinky. And so this area here is the front of the fingers. Not not the tips of your fingers, but like the front middle part of your fingers. Right there and then there's the top of that guy. This is how my reference is showing it right here. Once again, I will figure out how to show you these references and I will link them down in the description below, hopefully. But yeah, okay, that's actually not too bad of a fist. Just, oh my gosh, did not mean to delete that. Ha, Control Z is my best friend, guys. <laughs> but I'm gonna go in here and I'm gonna get a sharper brush and just kind of go over these lines here. Wow, that is gross. Woo, I'm gonna turn that down, okay. <laughs> here is that pointer finger. Here's the middle finger curled up. There's our ring finger. And then there's our pinky. Probably didn't need to draw that line. Alrighty. There's the pinky palm and then here's our thumb dude wow this is messier than my sketch but that's fine guys that is okay this is not a finished drawing i'm not trying for anybody i'm drawing this for me well there's our hand there's that handy dandy hand <laughs> Woo! looks better as a sketch okay let's see i want to I want to do more of an elegant pose with a hand. So let's cover that up actually and come back here. Do, 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 do. I'm going to make that smaller and move it out of the way. I guess you should be spatially aware when you're drawing. I'm not really because I am taking advantage of layers <laughs> on my digital drawing stuff. All right, so I'm gonna draw on a color now. I wanna do more of an elegant pose. So let's, let's see, let's, let's angle our hand downward. I'm actually gonna turn this more into a box. So I have more of a 3D vision on how this is gonna work. Cause I don't want it like flat. I want to see more of like the side of the hand. So we're gonna make it a box. I know I said this was 2D sculpting, but ha, ah, I guess I lied. <laughs> so we have this really messy box. And now I remember why I had the smoothing on my brush. <laughs> but, okay, so I have here, I'm gonna put the thumb right here. So a lot of the time with the thumb, I draw this circle thing. You saw that when I was drawing from the reference, there was a circle thing up here too. Because like I said, we all have this nice, cause that's where your thumb connects. So your thumb is actually just as long as the rest of your fingers, if not longer, but obviously it, it connects lower on your hand and there's a bunch of skin covering up the rest of it, right? So we have this little like round portion where the thumb connects. So that's why I like to draw this kind of circle area. And then we'll go in with this box. We'll bring it down. And we will do that, I guess. We'll, we'll leave it at there. There's the three like things. We have the knuckle joint here and the knuckle joint there. Three pieces. We'll move on to the fingers. So with the pointer finger, I want it like 
beautifully gracefully kind of dropping down so we're gonna do this like little swoop thing and ooh, the thing is i have it at a 3d kind of angle thing so i have to remember that so we're gonna erase that we have this we're gonna break down these joints too so that and we have this guy and then we have the fingertip There we go, there's the pointer finger. <laughs> All right, and then I'm gonna kinda use my cheat mode that I talked about up here with the drawing the, the middle and the ring finger together. I'm gonna do that, but first I'm actually, I'm gonna make, I'm gonna make this guy just a little shorter. I feel like he's too long. I feel like the middle finger should be that long. If it even gets that long. Um, but let's, let's connect this guy up here. So we have the ring finger there. And then there's that joint. There we go. I like that better. Ring finger. Did I say ring finger? Whoa, no, not the ring finger. We have the, the point of the pointer finger. The, the fingertip of the pointer finger. <laughs> okay. And then I'm going to come in here. Hmm. Nope. We're gonna we're gonna make them separate. We're gonna separate the middle and the ring finger. We're gonna come in here with the middle finger. I'm gonna have it. We're gonna have it going up first, and then I'm gonna have it bend back down, and then the fingertip is just gonna follow that downward ness. So it's actually. Yeah, this is probably a very unnatural... Okay. Nope, I'm changing that. That's not a very natural position for a middle finger. I tried to do it with my hand and it, like, wasn't working. So, <laughs> we are actually... We're still gonna bend the middle finger down, but we're gonna have the middle finger going in the same direction. Actually, we're gonna make it go lower than our pointer finger. And I'm gonna actually... I'm gonna do this in red. Or a different color so you can see compared to the blue do that and then i'm gonna have it bent down here and then we have it pointing there i don't feel like that perspective is off guys i chose really challenging pose you're obviously welcome to draw whatever pose of hand you'd like or you can try doing this with with me but you might be like way more ahead okay we're gonna try this one more time loose easy easy and loose easy and loose i think this is where i really get messed up with hands is when i try to get too detailed but i'm trying to figure it out where i can get detailed but also still be able to get things done, if that makes sense, you know? Because I want to be able to draw all these different hand positions, but I get so caught up with these things. Okay, so I'm moving on to the ring finger, and I'm drawing it like this. So basically, the middle finger is going down and all of the other fingers are going up, so it's like that pretty like princess hand thing. Um, that's what I'm drawing. That's what I decided to draw. And obviously, I think my middle finger has to be longer. Um, uh, but that's okay. And then we're gonna make the pinky even lighter than... the ring finger. And I've basically just abandoned that sectioning thing, but... Actually, we're gonna go back to that sectioning thing so I stay consistent. Here we go. All right. Boo do 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 and I have him go up, but like, up this way. Woo, okay, so <laughs> I'm going to lower the opacity of this. Let's see. And I know it's harder to see right now, but now I'm gonna go over it with a much darker color. Different layer though. 
and we're gonna go over this guy, and I'm gonna try and keep it loose with me going over this. So we have our palm. Oh gosh, turning my smoothing on, guys, because my thing likes to jitter a lot. And then we're gonna go here. Come on. Draw our thumb, who was the villain in the in the fist, but not this time. He's the good guy here. And then we're gonna draw our pointer finger. Draw it a little lower. I drew it. And then let's go in and get this. I'm gonna lengthen this middle finger just a little bit. Here. Get a little knuckle. Knuckle. Erase that line. Uh, yeah, it's kind of working. I feel like the fingers are kind of getting crossed, but that's fine. And then really going loose for this ring finger here. Try and keep those sections clear though. There's that, and then our little pinky who's just having the time of his life flying. Okay, that's actually not terrible. It's not terrible, guys. It's really not bad. <laughs> I am kind of proud of that. I hope you're proud of your hands too. You just drew one. I think I was pretty good. All right. Um, so let's just, let's just try another hand. Let's try another hand position. Here on this layer, we're gonna, I don't know. What kind of hand position should we do? Maybe, maybe we'll do the, like a peace sign. Let's do a peace sign, guys. Um, the thumb is gonna be over here. And keep this really loose. Doop, doop, doop. Gonna kind of use what I figured out from that guy. Section off my thumb a little bit there. Here, doesn't need to turn that much into it though. Let's do that. Then we have our ring finger and pinky. Woo. See, that was much looser. I feel like it just, that process went so much better than this guy. I just, I think that was so much better. I think one of the keys to drawing hands is to stop thinking about it <laughs> and to just go for it. Cause honestly, a lot of the time when I'm just like, oh, I'm gonna do this loose thing and like the, the fingers work out, obviously that didn't work. But I feel like a lot of the time, the less I think about it and the more I'm like just loosely getting it done, it looks a lot better. And then I can go in once again and be like, okay, you're gonna, just sharpen that up a little bit. Maybe just keep it as simple as it was. But a lot of the time it also won't ruin my drawing. Because it, it looks fine. It looks natural. Things like that. And so I don't know what's going on with that pinky. I don't know if I'm drawing that right. <laughs> but yeah, like, I feel like that's fine. That looks way better than like even that guy, even though that guy doesn't look terrible, but I just feel like something's wrong with him. But yeah, hey. So I guess the few things that we've learned about hands, I haven't really been teaching. This is just me trying to figure it out along with you guys. <laughs> but once again, my little process here. We're, we're gonna do this new layer and then doop. And then doop, boop. All right. And then, oop, goodbye, high-fiving hand. So, let's, this little process of drawing hands that I like to have is I draw the palm. We have the palm. And then, I'll go in with my palm. Let's see. <laughs> I'm going to make it easier for me. <laughs> go in with my palm. And then... I have a thumb, 
Then I have my pointer finger, middle fingers, pinky. Oh gosh, that's fine. It's fine, it's fine. Cause it's the loose first thing. Doesn't actually have to look good. And then we're gonna merge these two down. And I'm gonna, I'm gonna copy it again. Oh, I didn't mean to copy that guy, but that's fine. But then with, with this guy right here, I can go in and say, mm -hmm. I'm gonna make that little slimmer. Not slimmer, I'm just gonna refine that edge because I like the lines that I have here. Now here I'm gonna, I'm actually gonna separate these two fingers a little bit. Because one thing to remember as well is that your middle finger is longer than your pointer finger. Unless your hands are not made that way, but generally your middle finger is the longest, pointer finger is the second longest, so then it goes ring, pinky, and then you have your thumb. So I'm gonna have my middle finger being a little bit longer, and then I'm actually gonna separate the ring finger from the middle finger a little bit, make it shorter. And then I'm gonna bring my pinky closer in because I realized that that was kind of off. Shape that. And I'm gonna go in along here, still connecting. Since I brought the pinky closer in, I'm gonna bring the rest of the palm closer in because I don't want this jutting out thing. I'm gonna bring that, basically follow my palm line, but then I'm gonna go over my thumb. Boom, maybe have a little line there. Follow that and then there's my hand. And sometimes I draw a little line there or here or there, however you like to detail the inside of your palms. But yeah, it can just be a simple little French fry process. You just refine the fries, guys. Just refine the fries. <laughs> but yeah, I mean, and obviously it's not perfect and my hands will get better, but so will yours. Anyway, I hope this video was helpful. It was kind of helpful helpful for me. I like figuring out new tools on how to help me draw better and uh, maybe you will dive down deeper into hands someday. But that's all the time I have for now. So thank you so much for watching. And if you drew, if you drew along with me, comment down below, tell me what you drew, whether you drew hands or you doodled something else while you listened, whatever it was, I'd love to hear about it. But thank you so much for watching and see you later. Bye-bye.